So hello guys welcome back to the channel I hope you all are absolutely fine and sound in this video we'll cover this amazing lab so first of all click on start lab and if you're completely new to this channel do like the video and subscribe the channel now let's get started so basically first of all open the cloud console incognito window now here it is getting signed in automatically now if it asks for username and password you can refer to the lab instructions okay Here click on I agree and then click on agree and continue. Now the next step is that you have to just activate your cloud shell. So how you have to activate your cloud shell let me share that you have to click on this. It will take some time and here basically you have to just click on continue and authorize yourself. Okay just click on continue and authorize yourself. So just authorize yourself. And this will be a step by step guide so that you can understand each and every step how we are doing. So, okay. Just click on continue. Now once it is done, let me increase the font size first of all. Okay. Now come to the lab instruction. Now first thing is that we have to enable these APIs. So just enable the API. So finally these APIs have been enabled. Now what you need to do, we have to come to the lab instructions. Okay. And then basically we'll check whether what we have to do. So basically I think we have to just create the form parcel. Okay. So just come over here and just on the search box type document AI. Okay. Just click on document AI. And here click on explore processor. And remove this unwanted pop-up. Now you can check the score for task number one from here just come over here and here you can see in general section document OCR is here just click on it and from here you have to just enter the name just copy the name carefully just paste over here and click on create so it is creating finally we will be needing again and again so do not close this page now come over here and just Come to the next step we have to just download this pdf so just right click on it and just open it in cognito window let me show you just right click in and then it will show like this or it will be downloaded so just click on download button and you have to download this to your local system okay we'll upload it in in the next part of this video so just download it and then come over here and just click on upload basically the file which we have downloaded we have to upload it so just click on upload and just upload the same file okay just upload it and it will show like this when you when you will click on upload option basically when you will select the file so wait for it to get analyzed and finally it's showing like this now you can come back to the lab instructions and check the score for this particular task now for the task number three okay task number three we will start so just stay tuned and in, if you need the skill patches you can check the description box of this video now just come to the cloud shell and just wait a minute first of all come to the back because we'll be needing these things okay now just again activate the cloud shell like this and just paste it over here now the next step is that we have to enable permissions so run the im command and we are creating a my doc ai service account okay once you created the service account, the next step is that what we have to do, we have to just add IM binding policies. So just add it. And then the next step is that we have to just create a key. So just run it, wait for it to get completed. Now here, just run it. Now the next step is that you have to run the next command and then just check the score after that we have to install the client library so i will do you have to just copy this pip upgrade install command and just paste on your cloud shell so just paste it and hit enter it will take some time so wait for it now here if you get this kind of error let me show you what kind of error you may get and if you're not getting that it's very well so here you can see we got this error in that case you have to just rerun the account now here we have to just copy the file also the pdf file so just run it to copy the file 
now once it is completed okay you can see this part is done now from here just open this basically we are opening the cloud shell editor so here basically you will get an option you have to just click on this to close the terminal and uh, just authorize yourself now here you have to just click on come back and reconnect so here it's done now here you have to just come back and open the editor so here basically we have to create the file and just basically batch process it so just wait for some time and from here you have to just click on new file okay wait for the file to load now here from here click on new file you can see here so first of all come over here and just you have you can see this file we have to create first of all for making an online processing request so first of all what you need to do wait for a few seconds i think the page is still loading so you can just wait and here basically we have to just create a python file okay just like this create it now here basically what we need to do we have to just copy the contents from here and just paste over here we have to modify the files what we have to modify let me show you first thing we have to modify is the project id so just update the project id like this and then we have to update the location and basically the this processor id you can see here this is the location just copy it from here just paste over here you can just type also now here if any extra content is present just remove it like this now the processor id is here just select it and copy it just replace from here make sure any configuration or just any inverted comma syntax is not changed you have to just follow everything is same like this then cross verify and then you have to just save it now here saving is the twist so you have to just click on save and then come back to the lab instruction do not save directly you have to just rename also so first thing is that you need to come back to the lab instruction lab instructions and from here just copy the file name okay now from here make sure first of all copy carefully and make sure the file is cop correctly pasted over here okay now from here make sure the slash is also not removed and then you have to just click on ok or hit enter now the file has been successfully saved you can see now what we have to run we have to run a python command to just test the pdf so just come again to the lab instruction and just come to the cloud shell now just scroll down and from here just copy it and just you have to paste on your cloud shell okay just come over here on the cloud shell and then you have to paste it make sure you have cross verified so now here you can see all these things are correct we don't have to make any modifications they have clearly mentioned on the lab instructions only we have made all the changes which are required for this particular file so now you can also see they have mentioned on the note also so now just you have to just copy this python online processing.py file basically command and just run it over here just run it and hit enter and it will process it and show the output just run it it will take some time do not worry just wait for some time and here you can see the output has been successfully generated now once the output is generated what you need to do this thing is done we have to just come over here and run this command basically you can see we have done this now we have to just check the score so basically we have to do another thing that is basically first thing we have to upload the file and then we have to again create another file also okay here you can see all these files and all the details they have mentioned so just you can see these two tasks are remaining so just first of all okay come over here and you can see this is the file name copy the contents come to your cloud shell editor and from here click on file new file just click on python and just paste over here so i am just slowing the pace because many of you are facing issue so i am explaining each and every concept how you have to just update the files and how you have to move things so now from here just update the project id carefully update the project id and then location also you have to change to us because we are having us one and then if they change to eu you can just check the processor also and the lab instruction now just update the processor id once updated have to just update the input file and output file also from here we have to just update the 
url so just copy from here let me show you how you have to copy okay you can see this is the bucket url so just copy from here to here and then come over here and just replace it carefully replace it like this once it's done now we have to just update the output url so just copy from here to here and just paste over here like this so once it's done you have to just save it and now carefully save the file otherwise you may get error now just copy the file name if you try to copy from here we are unable to copy it so we need to go to the above basically up okay now just copy this from here to here you can see here just carefully replace it make sure the slash mark is not removed okay now then you have to just click on okay and the file will be loaded now the next step is that come down paste over here and it will again take some time so wait for it it's just taking some time so you need to wait for it do like the video and subscribe the channel too try to see the lab instruction you can see it may take some time they have mentioned already so you need to just wait for some time and then you can try and then at last we'll run the basically perform the task number seven so it's just working wait for it to get completed Once it's done you have to come back to the lab instruction and check the score now come to the task number seven we have to just run this command on our cloud shell okay once you have got the score on previous task come over here and just run it like this so just run it and then you have to just copy this file and we have to create another file also so just please pay attention to each and every steps now here this is the file name okay so first of all copy the contents come over here click on file and then new file and then select python and just paste the contents over here now here again we have to update some of the values starts from the project id carefully update make sure you do not basically do not remove the inverted commas and project location will be us and the processor id already mentioned over here just copy it and paste over here like this carefully paste it now it's like this make sure the file looks same as mine now here you can see we have to modify the input and output file so from here you have to just come over here and just copy complete file okay just copy complete file and just from here to here replace it carefully replace it now with this done now you have to update the output also so just copy from here to here and just update the output both things are updated now you have to save now in the saving file again you have to pay attention come above and just select correct file from here so you can see this is the file name batch processing directory dot py just copy it correctly come over here and replace it carefully okay make sure the slash mark is not removed okay just paste carefully and then you have to hit enter or you can click on ok now once the file is saved the name will be updated now come over here and just just run this okay now just run it 
and it will execute and if you want any other skill badges and basically lab free courses you can check the description box of this video so that's all about this challenge and i hope you have completed and for remaining trivias and skill badges you can just check the playlist as i said earlier so that's all about this video thank you guys have a great day now just wait for it to get completed and we'll check the score together So finally you can see the data is being fetched and it's generating okay so now here this part is also done and finally we have completed the lab so that's all about this video now do like the video and subscribe the channel also check the video regarding the pre-assessment skill badges where we complete one skill badge and basically one lab and get